and Gloria Steinem. What follows is a fact sheet about Gloria Steinem's operations against the various social and political movements in America, particularly her role in creating a hateful and virulent strain of black feminism that attacks black men while partnering with the white establishment. Steinem first came across the radar of black men when she put a book called Black Macho and the Myth of the Superwoman by Michelle Wallace on the cover of Miss Magazine, to which she controlled. Let's read on. The book was written by a black feminist and activist, quote unquote, named Michelle Wallace, who came out of nowhere. She was in her early 20s, yet she was being touted as the leader of black feminism. In the book, Wallace called abolitionists like Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth ugly and stupid for supporting black men. She called black revolutionaries chauvinist macho pigs and advised black women to go it alone. Go it alone? Do it alone? I don't know. But people what Gloria said. Gloria Steinem said that Wallace's book would define the future of black relationships. They lied to you. Make sure the book received massive publicity. Define the future of black relationships. What's the bottom line? The bottom line is the so-called black feminist movement was created and manipulated by the CIA from the very beginning. The only difference between black revolutionaries and black feminists on this issue is that black revolutionaries know they were infiltrated and manipulated, but black feminists are still unwilling to admit that they were infiltrated and manipulated largely because they are highly invested in the hateful brand of black feminism. It is now a central part of the culture of black women, and this fact has led to the destruction of the black revolution and the complete distortion of black relationships. They lied and the to CIA you. had a direct hand in creating this situation. So, black woman, Gloria Steinem, your American journalist, feminist, political, social political activist, and CIA agent, she was used to cause disunity in the black family through the use of feminism. Remember that book we read earlier, the one on the black myth by Michelle? She said that would be the future for black relationships. Nothing positive in that book was written about the black men. They were putting them down. So the next time you think about supporting her, ask yourself. So to a lot of sisters, this is why it's easy for you to always look at the woman's point of view, always consider... Well, what a woman goes through and what a woman goes through and you can say those things and never want consider what a man goes through dealing with that woman. And if you do consider it or think about it, you don't seem to quantify it in the whole equation. You seem to still come out with it being, but I, 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 I. And when we point out to you that you do this, you try to come back with some attempt to say that that's what we do. But it's clearly being shown that that's not true. That this talk, these talking points, this, well, how come men can't accept this and what they do to a woman and this, that, and the third, like, again, constantly attempting to compare men to women. And it's not comparable. The only reason women work in society today is because men allow it. If men didn't allow it, you wouldn't work. It's just how it is. It's, I mean, whether anyone likes it or not is of no consequence. The point is, that's why you do it. But if you ask the average woman, it's because she's powerful and she did this and she did that and all of this stuff. And I'm talking about sisters. I'm not talking about any other group <clears throat> particularly right now. With sisters, I see this a lot. Uh, it almost made me and led to me deleting my Facebook because I see it so prevalently, it's all, it's a constant thing. And I don't even think they recognize that they're doing it. And I don't even think that they recognize that the things that they're saying is, is separatist talk. Like if, if I was going to run around my community talking about how I don't need any of them or half of them, I am what? Separating myself from them. But when they do this, they don't see that this is what they're doing. Shame TV. I'll let the rest play, and then we'll cut it off. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They lied to you. They lied to you. Yes, they did. This shit goes deep. This shit goes deep. Guys, if you're coming down uh, in...